That's the first time this car has started in probably since the 70s. Isn't that amazing? That's the first time this car has started since the about the 1970s. Um, got a oil leak down here. We'll have to figure out what that is. And uh, some water leaks. <sighs> Had some smoke, which I expected. Um, yeah, the the diesel pump, I sent it down to an Abilene uh, diesel service and they rebuilt it. But the pump does leak out of the bottom diesel, so that's not resolved yet. But yeah, rebuilt pump. This is a Bosch uh, hand pump, not the really good Monarch, uh, which, which blows more uh, fuel. And uh, it's kind of a big deal. I, I used uh, Monarch uh, pencil glow plugs that uh, Mercedes Source recommends. I got them from Hamburg. So we got our fuel here leaking. Can you see that? We got fuel there like we're supposed to. And uh, wow, kind of a big deal. Let's see. 1971. Let's see that. 1971 was the last time this thing drove. So, 60 years. 60 years. This thing has not ran for 60 years. That's the first. I've had like 1915 Harleys come back to life, but uh, a 1959 180 diesel coming back to life, it's kind of a big deal for me. Let's see if we can start it again. Um, hang on. Put that screwdriver, not screwdriver, I put that wrench there just to um, hold that in position. And I poured some diesel down here and uh, let's see if it'll start up again for us. That's amazing. So first we turn our key and then we're going to turn this thing all the way without pushing it in. And then as soon as that guy heats up I don't know if you can see that thing. Once it goes red, see it's going red now. I don't even see that. And then with this guy over here, I'm gonna push it in. And then I'm gonna leave it like that. Yeah, so it is, it does smoke. And I'll come back in here, take that guy, turn that back like that so you can see that's open. Then we turn our key. Wow, that's amazing. That is truly amazing. 
So we got some sort of oil leak at the end of the at the back of the the engine. Right down somewhere back over here. We got an oil leak. And we got hose leaks here. That's okay. That's easy stuff. Um this was really a big deal. Um so I'd get the fuel to come out of here. So I'd blood those, I'd pump this thing like a hundred times, and I'd bleed these here, and then the fuel would come out of here, and I'd bleed these guys here. See these two? I'd open those guys up, bleed them, and then I'd hit that a hundred times, and I'd start seeing the, the fuel over here at the tops of these guys. But, you know, I had three of these diesel pumps, and all of them didn't work, so I sent two down to the diesel shop first guy said the first pump said was junk or just just there's better ones you can you can build anything and um, then the second one it works I mean the car starts and runs now but uh, I got these uh, monarch uh, pencil glow plugs versus the uh, the, uh, the the other Bosch style and it, it fired right up on the Bosch on, on the on the Monarch plugs, so that was really a big deal. And uh, so, I guess the next thing we'll do is uh, resolve the uh, water leaks and the oil leak. And uh, but fires up, man, which is unbelievable. 60, 60 years, 1971. So I gotta say that was kind of a big deal today, um, and I've got an AGM Optima battery. Yeah, oh, look at that. We got nice, nice flow of Mercedes blood here. Wow, nice, huh? This is a Schumacher Speed Charger. Um, it's an AGM battery, put on 12 amp voltage. And um, that thing got ran over by a car, and it still works. Wow, this is really, really something else. It's a big deal. This thing, like I said, hasn't ran in 60 years. 30, no, 1970 would be 30 plus 20. That's 50 years, so it hasn't ran in 50 years. That's a real big deal. And my math skills are no good today. So it's a 180 diesel. We know you're there. Shut up. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Huh. Anyway. So, so there it is. I'm, I'm kind of really just uh, blown away by all of this. The wasps, uh, I hit a wasp a couple summers back, smashed the windshield, but it was a junk window anyway. Um, wow. So if you, if you buy one of these cars, um, first thing I recommend is uh, see if you got any fuel flow. If you don't, just rebuild the pump, start with the pump. And then uh, rebuild the radiators, swap out the water lines. Like you can see this guy here, this, this line's gone. Swap out all the water lines. Um, this one, um, you know, and rebuilt the gas tank on this too because they sit for 50 years and the uh, varnishes the tank. So wow, that's, look at those tires, man. I don't even think I can get those anymore. I have to get these uh, other ones, like, like on this 69, uh, uh, 6970 um, BMW 2002, and these are these are 13s, and the, and the pontons are 13s. Um, so I'm learning a lot about 2002 cars. I got on one of these Facebook forums because I don't know anything about them, and uh, a lot of good folks on there. I just sent them my photos and then identify stuff for me. So this is a four-speed that I got as an extra when I bought this this rack which uh, I'm getting pretty excited about I'm finding out there's all kinds of stuff you can do to them 
And then, so here's the engine and trans I got for the Met fellow. And uh, it's an M30, no, M10, uh, 1.8 liter. Hey, look at that. 1.8 right there. Huh, cool. And uh, it's, a, it's called a 245 trans or 245 box. It's a five speed, which the guy who sold it to me, he didn't know. I think I think he said it, he thought it was a four speed. But it turns out there's a whole there's kits you can buy for like a thousand bucks. So you can mount the the five speed in the older chassis 2002s and uh, utilizing the 2002s um, original mounts for the earlier transmission. So I think what I'm going to do first is just swap engines. And see if this guy runs. He said it did, but it doesn't look like it's that big of a job. But I'm concerned about this right here. There's some sort of weld here. I don't know if the guy just broke something and monkey welded it or what. But one, two, three, four. But so there's the engine that's going to probably go in that uh, 2002. Wow. So I only got one ponton left to start. That red one, that's a 59-190 diesel. That will be an easy car to start. There's nothing to it. Nobody's ever monkeyed with it. I don't think that one's ran since the 80s. So, so. I'm not that really, uh, I'm not really that thrilled with them. You know, I just got them just for fun, but now I just got too many. But anyway, um, so there it is. 59 180 diesel runs, leaks, and uh, that is amazing. That was a very big deal. Um, I posted the, the YouTubes on how to time them, which I got really lucky. Facebook forum called a guy and he walked me through it. You time the diesel pump then you time the motor. Um, it's, it's actually pretty simple. And uh, so there's there's still more adjustments to be made to get this to run optimally. And then there's the whole brake job. Um, then I gotta get a dent puller, yank this guy out. Um, that's huge, it's a really big deal that it runs. It's really a big deal. Um, you know, I got this from some guy who inherited it from his grandfather, and uh, I don't know. I think the guy's he's some sort of engineer, but not mechanically inclined. And anyway, got the thing, and man, it just it would not run, wouldn't start, nothing, no fuel, no nothing. And uh, so anyway, start with a fuel pump. If you buy one of these cars, a diesel, start with a fuel pump. Just Pull that off, rebuild it, because that's the that's the heart of the car, really. Um, and I, I think it was like 500 bucks to rebuild the fuel pump. Um, so rebuild the fuel pump, and then and then uh, rebuild the radiator, gas tank, swap out the rubber, um, use a powerful battery, because uh, it takes a lot to heat those pl those uh, pencil neck glow plugs. Pencil glow plugs, not pencil neck. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's the 101, and that one fires up, you've seen that one. And there's the, the Alfa Romeo, one of them. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep that or not, it's pretty hammered. But I think it's, it's uh, power plant's good. It spins freely, I think the guy parked it because the spike had failed. But, um, Wow, I gotta say, it's been a, this has been the highlight of the summer, really for me, the highlight of the summer, getting this thing to run, you know, big big deal. Um, rebuilt uh, diesel pump, Monarch glow plug, pencil glow plugs, and. And then ballast works. Looks like a mini toaster. That's that's the ballast. 
Mercedes-Source sells that one. So that's what the red 59 190 diesel needs is a, a ballast. And then I use this thicker gauge wire. Otherwise the thinner stuff's gonna heat up and melt. And then you're, then you're screwed. But really big deal getting the fuel to here. Cause it didn't have that for a long time. But once you get it to there, then then I poured diesel down here and uh, and it fired, which is huge. Smokes. But worst thing you can do to a diesel is uh, is not start it on a regular basis. Once those fuel lines get dry, you're you're really screwed. Then the, then the work begins. But I don't know. Once you get something running, then you think, God, I think I might want to keep it, you know. But I don't know. I got three of these cars, so those are 190s. But this is the 180 diesel. And uh, so somebody on one of my YouTube said that uh, they said that the 180 diesels were the best Mercedes ever made. So I don't know. He was from Germany, so you know. But anyway, they're all cars that were made like just right after World War II, post-war. And uh, man, they're just just tanks. So anyway, gang, really a big deal highlight of the summer. Got the 180 diesel running. So we'll uh, catch you on the next YouTube.